Self-congratulation is a sign of maturity. Seeking congratulation is a sign of immaturity. What is going on everybody? My name is Salem Sonny and welcome to my YouTube channel. Here I help individuals such as yourself be more motivated, discover their purpose, and understand that they're God's very best. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. So because I know most of you guys are go-getters, you're people who want to succeed in life and you want to achieve many things, I wanna give you guys a little caveat that came to my mind the other day. So I went to the gym and as I was working out, I was listening to an audio tape and one of the things that the speaker within the audio tape said that captivated my mind is the understanding that self-congratulation is a part of maturity. See, often enough, because we're trying to achieve, we're go-getters, we want to see something in life, we often want to get to a point where once we would make some move, we make some achievement, we want to be recognized. And there's nothing wrong with seeking recognition. The only part is if we let the seeking recognition become the end goal, then we'll miss out to the joy that comes, the fulfillment that comes from achieving the thing that we're seeking in the first place. In other words, don't let what people say of what you've done become the goal of actually doing whatever you wanted to do in the first place. Don't do things for other people's applause. Here are two things that can help you. Go from seeking other people's congratulation to be able to self-congratulate yourself. One, set realistic goals. Right here, one of the things that happens often enough is sometimes we set goals that are so far beyond our reach that sometimes we feel like uh, already defeated before we even try to reach the goal. So that is a bad practice to have because it creates a sense of depression, it kills our self-esteem, and often enough, it makes us lazy to create future goals. So have goals that are slightly maybe above your comfort zone, but you know that you can achieve, even little goals. And another thing that you want to do also by setting these goals, you want Want to celebrate even the small goals so don't just put on your goals like big things like you know the house you want to buy the car you want to buy you know becoming a millionaire a billionaire you know feeding all these people in the world also have small goals like you know maybe you want to be taking walking couple you know miles every single day maybe you want to wake up, wake up on time maybe you want to make up your bed when you go to the morning maybe you want to do your homework or at least read 10 pages of a book per day have these little achievable goals that you have and also once you do accomplish those goals celebrate you know one of the things that i did today today i had a myriad of things to do before i started shooting this video and i'm so proud of myself because i was able to accomplish even they seem like very small goals wake up on time make sure i make my bed uh, i had to do some repairs for the cars go to the shop meet with a client call another one get a haircut like all these small things but because i was able to get them and do them on time i was able to congratulate myself each time i actually accomplished these goals so have small attainable goals and once you reach them congratulate yourself like my Salem, I'm proud of the fact that you kept your word and you did them on time and you did it correctly. The second thing is make losing painful. I know this may become contrary to motivation, but a lot of people are comfortable with losing. Losing is something that I don't like doing, but I know that it is a process to winning. See, for you to eventually find whatever that business that work, whatever that idea that's going to take you to the next level, whatever that person, that individual that you're going to do, that process might take a lot of failures on your way to your success. So don't be afraid to fail, but don't be comfortable staying within that state of failure. So when something doesn't go the right way, make some adjustment, make some tweak. Don't become complacent. Have the small goals. Make winning feel awesome you know, by congratulating yourself, but also make sure that, you know, losing stings. I'm not here to kid ourselves. I want you guys to go out there and become super successful. And hopefully this video can be able to help you. That's all I had for you today. Seriously, I gotta go. Just realize your God's very best and I'll catch you guys on the next time. Make sure you subscribe to this channel if this is your first time. There's more videos like this on the way. I hope you have a great day. Remember, your God's very best. See you guys next time.